This is an NBC special news report. Brought to you by the Gulf Oil Corporation. Que la lumière lui soit donnée à mon troisième coup de maillet. And Israel has now committed itself in principle to withdrawal from occupied territory. As many as 50 passengers of a hijacked Egypt air jet died today. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men and women. للأسف الجماعة دي بتدي أسوأ صورة للإسلام. من كم that Islamic terror provide them to terrorists. I, I I'd like to stay here all day, but I gotta I gotta go to Vegas. <laughs> something about what goes on there stays there or something. I personally believe as hundreds of angry Muslim protesters stormed the city, joining global outrage over an anti-Islamic film. Terrorist, 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 terrorist. Okay, so what do you know about Islam? Not much, actually. What do you know about Islam? Nothing. What do you know about Islam? Um, well, I've got a few friends. Uh, I know that Muhammad would be uh, not is God the right word? Islam. Is it a country or a culture? Um, Arabian religion. Is it a country or a culture? It's, a, it's both. It's both. Know about Islam? Uh, I know that's one of the big monotheistic religions. That you do a lot of praying? Effectively, it's an offshoot of Christianity, which is an offshoot of um, Judaism itself. Uh, there are terrorists there. There's a war going on. What do you know about Islam? Nothing. <laughs> Any, if it's anything that you know about Islam, what is it? You've never in your whole life heard of the word Islam? No. no. It's a part of your life, not only as a belief, but a part of your way of living. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Isn't it Islamic Stan is the country and Islam is the culture? What is Christianity? Jesus and stuff. Yeah, well, what is all that called? It's a religion. A religion. A religion. Islam is a religion. Islam is a religion, okay. Islam is a religion. Okay. It's a religion of peace. Salam means peace. You heard of somebody say salam alaikum? What? You ha you have? Yeah. Salam means peace. Okay. Religion of Islam is a full system. It's a full religion to that tackles every single aspect of life. We have a prophet called Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. You know Jesus? Jesus. Yeah. Everybody knows Jesus. <laughs> this is the prophet of Islam. His name is Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. He teaches us all these things: peace, love, friendship. Hope. Forgiveness, knowledge, charity, sympathy, respect, no killing, none of these things. I'm Muslim. Oh, okay, yeah. I won't kill an ant. 
I would give it like sugar and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a nice one. You like that one? I got more. The human mind is like a computer. No matter how efficient it may be, its reliability is only as great as the information fed into it. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Uh, in the in World War II, this country could use its uh, news media to propagandize and make our, make the whole American public love whom they will and hate whom they will. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We deal in illusions, man. None of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. Global terrorism, world terrorism, global terrorism, terrorist, 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 terrorist. is very forgiving and is very merciful. Yeah, it's important that you're doing this because the perception is that everything you're saying, most people don't believe that that's what your values are in all of these things. It's, it, it's, it seems to be the opposite. Because there's so much things going on and we see it on television, um, it doesn't seem like they're promoting peace and, and mercy. I and just wanted to know, recently there were some Muslim extremists that attacked Australian graves of all veterans and I just wanted to know what you thought of people that do that. I think there's moderate and there's extremists and there's extremists in any faction, in any group. Well first of all, Islam is a religion of peace, of righteousness, of mercy, to the highest degree of mercy. A headdress for girls, why is it so important? Do you understand why a nun does what she does? Uh, she's committing herself to God. My, our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, teaches us that you should never disrespect anybody, not, not nobody, and you should never kill. All the things, the same like the commandments in our religion as well. Mercy. Yeah. There's a story of a woman that got punished by God for torturing a cat. A cat. God said, if you have mercy on people, God will have mercy on you. Yeah. And if people happen to go and jump on graves or do anything, they, they don't represent Islam whatsoever. You get uh, extremist uh, beliefs in every single religion, including secularism. I, I know Christians with fundamentalist beliefs. England, going back a few hundred years, marched around the world in the name of the Crusades, slaughtering thousands, hundreds of thousands. So, like, there's a lot of people that go to church that aren't Christians. Exactly. There's a lot of people that go to church that abuse children. That's true. And sadly, it's everywhere. Um, you have to get to know everyone as their own individual person, just not by their race, colour. So, when, so as an Italian, saying a Muslim is a terrorist is like saying an Italian is a mobster. Yeah, exactly. From the mafia. Exactly, and we're not all like that. So you're not Corleone. <laughs> Don't Corleone. 
You don't kill people? No, I don't. I, I think most Muslims believe in peace. Muslims, as soon as we take action before we do anything, before we eat, when we wake up, when we enter a house, when we do anything, we say, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Before we take any action, that means in the name of God, the most merciful and forgiven and compassionate. So we have psychologically, we start all our daily actions with the word of mercy. We have very high tolerance. It was learned that there was a, a funeral march, you know, a funeral was passing by. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stood up out of respect for the funeral. And the Sahaba, his friends told him, did you know that this funeral is for a Jew? And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that, well, isn't he a human being as well? That's a strong statement on its own. The, one of the five pillars of Islam is called zakat, it's, which is like charity. Yeah. You, every Muslim has to give money to the poor. Yeah, Ramadan. Yeah, I know that. Do you know why we fast? No, I don't know why. Because when we fast, we uh, kind of uh, deprive ourselves from uh, materialistic things. And this, this brings us closer to our, our spirit. And then we can, we can understand poor people. So it makes us more sympathetic. I get it, I get it. Religion, they give rights to everything. Give rights to animals. Give rights to the enemy. Give rights to the Jews. Give rights to your mother. Give rights to your daughter. Give rights to every single thing you can think about. Islam is a complete religion. It's just that the thing is, 99% of human beings are, are very, very similar. Government magnifies on that 1% that doesn't make a difference and, and causes all the problems. Over. That's what makes the news, mate, isn't it? Yeah. We're doing this for peace. Do you, wanna, do you want world peace? Yes. You want us to achieve world peace? Yes. The number way, in my opinion, my philosophy is to get world peace. We should all come on common terms first. Work on our commonness. I, I like the sunny weather. Sunny weather is great. Who doesn't like the sunny weather? You like sunny weather? I love it. I like sunny weather. That's a good place we can start with. We have so much things in common. And let's say that we both bond. We both like to play jazz. We both like bulldogs. Do you like chicken wings? Yes. I love chicken wings. See? There you go. We can play a Ray Charles song and watch a bulldog special on Dog Whisperer. Because as a follower of Christ, I see the wording of Islam as, I shall love all Muslims. Give them advice what to really do if they really want to know about what, what Islam is about. It speaks to some Muslims, it speaks to some people who know about Islam. You never know the truth until you start speaking to people who are actually a part of it. You meet new people, meet people out of your cultures. Take it hard on yourself, you'll be hard. But if you take it easy, it'll be really easy. I think Islam is so easy and peaceful. I'd say think about the voices that aren't being heard. Think about the messages that aren't being said. Well, you shouldn't believe the media as they portray everything in different lights. So just watching Channel 10 is not enough? No, not at all. Channel 9? <laughs> No channels. You can't just stereotype everyone. I'm Italian. Does it mean that I'm... Eat spaghetti. Well, yeah, exactly. You don't make pizzas at home, right? <laughs> no, I can, but that's not the point. Bring peace to everybody. No matter what your culture, race, religion is, everyone is a human being. One is everyone. Whether you're Jew, Gentile, Muslim, Buddhist, at the end of the day, we all have red blood. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum. This is how we greet. It means peace be upon you. Walaikum salam. Alaikum salam, I should no, say. No, Walaikum salam. Walaikum salam. Yeah. Wake salam. Walam salaikum. Walaikum salam. 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 Okay, let's try it again. Alaikum salam alaikum. Walaikum alaikum. I'll try it again. Okay. Salam alaikum. Walaikum salam. Okay. <laughs> Best ways is to hang out with Muslims, read about Muslims, see how, like, how they live their lives, ask about them. And they will find, they absolutely will find the truth, man.